Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see permissions in the Microsoft Purview Portal. The Microsoft Purview Portal supports directly managing permission for users who perform tasks within Microsoft Purview Portal. We can use the roles and scopes area in the settings for the portal and can manage permissions for users across the Purview data security, data governance and risk and compliance solutions. So I'll just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. This is security.microsoft.com. I'll connect to purview.microsoft.com. And here we are to view the roles, groups, and uh, roles and scopes area in the Purview portal. You need to be a global administrator or need to be assigned the role management. A role is assigned only to the organization management role group. So if you are in home, you click on settings roles and scopes role groups you see organization management compliance administrator purview administrators attack simulator administrator these are the built-in roles other role groups you can create a role group from here as well and you can modify these role groups as well now you can reuse roles with the fewest permissions. So Microsoft always recommends that you use roles with the fewest permissions. Minimizing the number of users with the global administrator role help improve security of the organization. And it's a best practice to manage access for the least privilege for your users. Now when it comes to purview permissions, permissions in the purview portal are based on the role-based access control or RBAC permissions model. RBAC is the same permissions model that's used by most Microsoft 365 services. So if you are familiar with the permission structure in these services, granting permission in the purview portal will also be familiar. Now make sure that it's important to remember that the permissions managed in the purview portal don't cover the management of all the permissions needed in each individual service. So Defender Portal, you can use role-based access control permissions model that will set the permissions on the Defender Portal and not on the Purview Portal. Same applies to other services as well. Now, and uh, for example, if you need to assign permissions for archiving, auditing and MRM retention policies, you'll need to manage these permissions in the Exchange Admin Center. Now, how, how are these members, roles and role groups related? A role group is a set of roles that enable users to do their job. So this is a role group, security operator. Okay. Now, you will add users to this role group or you will assign designated administrator, analyst, investigators and auditors which are configured for the necessary insider, uh, configured for the necessary security operator task. Microsoft Purview Portal includes default role groups, the one that you see here uh, for task and functions for each compliance and governance solution that you'll need to assign people to. And uh, generally, it is recommended simply adding individual users as members to the default group groups as required. Same way you can uh, manage the governance permissions and Azure rules in the Purview Portal as well. Right now, the role that appear in the Microsoft Entra ID sections of the roles and scopes area are Microsoft Entra roles that you see on the Entra administ Entra.microsoft.com. Right, and if you are a global administrator, you this section will be will be visible to you. Now, these roles are as designed to uh, these roles are assigned and designed to align with job functions in your organizations. Okay, so if I you go on assigned roles, right? These are I'm I've been assigned a global administrator to myself. Same way, you can assign compliance data administrator, compliance administrator, security operator, security reader, so on and so forth. Now, you want to add users or groups to a Microsoft Purview built-in group. You go back to this role group.
right and you click on edit for example i'm editing security operator here you will click on choose users and you will select the user select it next review it and you click on save you have successfully updated the role group click on done so you have updated security operator resource group all right so this is what i wanted to cover about the permissions in the Microsoft Purview portal. I hope this was informative for all of you. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.